Going to bed late can lead to earlier death. Do you go to bed as the sun comes up? Well, your sleeping habits could be shortening your life. New research suggests people who go to bed late were shown to have a 10% higher mortality rate than early risers. The study, published in Chronobiology International, observed 433,628 individuals for a six and a half year period. 50,000 late bedders of those sampled were more likely to die or suffer diseases and mental health issues. This, according to co-lead author Professor Kristen Knudsen explained, may be due to stress, lack of exercise, alcohol or drug abuse or other unhealthy behaviors. Newton suggests night owls could try to get to bed early more regularly and get exposed to light early in the morning. The study says society can help as well by letting night owls work to times suiting their natural patterns. Here's some more health news. Achievement unlocked. For the first time ever, gaming addiction is set to be classed as a health issue by the World Health Organization. According to a draft definition, symptoms of gaming disorder can include continuation or escalation of gaming despite negative consequences. It can also be shown by the gamer exhibiting impaired control over gaming and or by more time being given to gaming to the extent that it takes precedence over other important life aspects. And it's not like gamers can just go cold turkey. We mean, have you seen how they handle poultry? These symptoms have to go on for a year for a diagnosis to be assigned, but that time can be shortened depending on the severity of the gaming. Do you eat your own boogers? Scientists say parents should not discourage their children from picking their noses and should allow them to eat their boogers for health reasons. Scientists claim that dried nasal mucus contains good bacteria. Ingesting dried nasal mucus is said to be able to prevent cavity-causing bacteria from sticking to teeth and defend against respiratory infections, stomach ulcers, and even HIV. Some researchers are even developing a synthetic mucus toothpaste and chewing gum to improve dental hygiene. Mmm. Good news for coffee drinkers. A new study shows that coffee drinkers are likely to live longer than non-coffee drinkers. Data was sampled from more than half a million people across 10 European countries. According to the study, coffee drinkers are likely to be smokers, drinkers, and meat eaters. However, it also shows coffee drinkers have significantly lower mortality rates than non-coffee drinkers and lower risk of death from all causes. The study revealed that coffee drinkers appear to have healthier lives and better glucose control, which may improve their overall health. Researchers say they will try to determine the particular compound in coffee that offers such health benefits. In the meantime, they suggest drinking around three cups of coffee a day for good health. You might want to lay off the coconut oil. Health food enthusiasts and hipsters have long sworn by the many benefits of coconut oil. But according to the American Heart Association, it may not actually be all that good for you. Coconut oil, unlike most plant oils, is highly saturated. Its saturated fat content is 82%, higher than butter, beef fat, and pork lard. Saturated fat has been linked to low-density lipoprotein, which is bad cholesterol that can build up in the arteries and increase the risk of heart disease. The American Heart Association recommends eating less saturated fat, replacing them instead with unsaturated plant oils, nuts and seeds. Still, coconut oil has been known to raise good cholesterol levels. And while the evidence doesn't say increased consumption leads directly to heart disease, the fact remains that it contains plenty of saturated fat so as with all things, it may best be taken in moderation. Frank Sachs was the lead author of the report debunking the idea that coconut oil is a health food. While speaking to USA Today, his advice was, you can put it on your body, but don't put it in your body.